Base camp, base camp over. We are on the reach, everything's okay. One of the biggest questions we get is how far can the Rocky Talkies transmit? In this video, we'll go over some of our real life testing and go over key factors to help you estimate the range that handheld radios can get. There are many technical factors to consider, such as the frequency of your transmission or the gain of the antenna. However, to keep things simple, we're gonna focus on only the two key factors for outdoor enthusiasts. Those are the transmission power of the radio and the terrain that you're in. For license-free radios like the Rocky Talkie, the maximum transmission power allowed by the FCC is two watts. For outdoor sports, such as climbing and skiing, a license-free two-watt radio is the best fit in most situations. If after watching this video, you determine that your activities require more range than a two-watt radio can provide, we recommend looking into licensed GMRS radios. The second major factor is terrain. Obstacles between you and your partner can significantly affect your ability to communicate. Let's break down the types of environments you might encounter into three categories. Line of sight, minor obstructions, and major obstructions. For line of sight situations, the radio waves are able to travel unimpeded for long distances. We went to Lake Tahoe in California and tested the Rocky Talkies with a clear view across the lake, right around 25 miles apart. All right, so we just arrived at the north end of Lake Tahoe here. Um, Bryce is on the south end somewhere out there and we're gonna see if we can reach him on the Rocky Talkie. Hey Bryce, this is Alex, can you hear me? Yeah, Alex. Awesome, man. Yeah, you sound loud and clear. Loud and clear on my end, too. Where exactly are you now? Yeah, so I reached the scenic overlook on the north end. Where are you? So I'm just down here in South Lake Tahoe, just south of Emerald Bay. I guess that puts us right around 25 miles. Is that right? Yeah, dude. 25 miles sounding great. As you can see, if you maintain line of sight, it is unlikely that the range will be an issue. The next terrain type is minor obstruction. This next example was recorded by our product tester, Don Bowie. He radioed his father from the top of a 13,000 foot peak to a forest 20 miles away, with only trees blocking the transmission. This illustrates how radio waves can penetrate through objects like trees and foliage fairly easily. Uh, do you copy? Yeah, I'm copying. Uh, you still copy me? Yeah, I copy you loud and clear. Yeah, the only thing I hear is the wind in your background. Uh, it uh, uh, sounds like static, but I know it's wind. Yeah, well, we're at near four, almost 14,000 feet, 13,500 feet, so, you know, there's a little bit of wind up here, but it's not too bad. While the waves can pass through trees, they scatter heavily on large bodies of earth, like hills and mountains. When the signal path is blocked by a hill, the transmission can only be heard if the waves are able to bounce around it. This type of communication can be sensitive to the exact spot that you are standing. In this next clip, we tested the radios in a forest with rolling hills and had good reception at around two miles apart. All right, Alex, I've come just under two miles down the trail now. Can you read me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you pretty clearly. A bit of static, but overall pretty clear. However, later that day, when on opposite sides of a large hill, we got no reception at all even though we were only 0.7 miles apart. All right, um, just showing you guys that you can actually lose connection even at very short ranges. Um, Bryce is 0.7 miles just on the other side of this mountain here. Um, just a short little hike around and we're not really getting any signal from him. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, hey Bryce, do you copy? Bryce, do you copy? This is Alex. One additional thing to keep in mind is that in mountain ranges, radio waves can actually bounce off of the nearby valley walls so that you can communicate even when there are large obstructions in the way. For this reason, we generally see better range in mountains and valleys than we do in rolling hills, where signals can simply scatter off into the atmosphere. We hope that these examples help you get a general sense of the range you can expect while out on your adventures. We believe that with the proper understanding, Radios like the Rocky Talkie can be a critical tool to use in the backcountry. Thanks for watching and see you out there.